Forza Horizon Racing is a student team based out of Delft in the Netherlands and race the world's fastest hydrogen powered car. My name is Maximilian Reinhardt and I'm an aerodynamics engineer for Forza Hydrogen Racing. Uh, in this video we're going to cover some of the processes we went through to design, build and finally use this mold to produce uh, the rear cover for the F9. All of our molds have been produced with subtractive manufacturing of some form of another. But for the first time, we've been able to work together with Seed on making a 3D printed mold in order to reduce the weight of the mold and be able to achieve the complicated geometries that were necessary to produce the parts. Part of the ethos of this team is to build as much as we can in-house, including a lot of the bodywork. The rear cover for the Forza 9 is the largest single piece of carbon fiber on the car. The production process for all molds starts of course with design and it was no different with the mold for our new rear cover. Design-wise it was fairly similar to most molds we produce with some key differences of course, depending mostly on how additive manufacturing works. For example, we had to make sure that there was enough thickness on the top surface so that we could comfortably mill down to the final surface. Once the design phase was done, we could move on to production, where the mold was first printed in a vertical orientation, flipped onto into the horizontal orientation in which the part will be produced, and milled down to the final shape, where we achieve all the tight tolerances required for this part. Beyond the technical help, Seed was also able to help us a lot with the material acquisition. As a matter of fact, they immediately suggested the use of AirTech Dalram T1000GF due to various uh, advantages it offered. It was perfectly adapted to our application of vacuum infusion at room temperature. And it's a fully recyclable and recycled material. That means that if we want to, if we decide to, we could send this entire mold back to AirTech, have it ground down back to its base element and make a brand new mold out of it. So with the production, uh, it was in principle fairly simple. We had to place down our dry carbon fiber uh, sheets onto the mold. We put in a total of four layers of carbon uh, for the main layup, but that did also reinforce some areas that would see more intense loadings. Uh, these areas include the shark fin slot over here, which is reinforced to up to 10 layers of carbon, which equates to about two millimeters of uh, pure carbon. Uh, same for some of these latch buckets, as they, these parts will see more intense point loads. We were able to obtain a full and perfect vacuum, which is difficult to achieve in the, at the best of times, let alone with a part this large. And it was perfectly airtight, which really speaks to the quality of the mold, the quality of the work done by Seed, and the quality of the products provided by AirTech. Um, then, after waiting for a couple, for two or so days, we were able to finally demold the part, and also considering its size, considering the complex geometry and the harsh angles, it came out remarkably easily and came out looking fantastic. 